Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem, my name is Miriam Sarit Walensky and I want to tell you something very important. Davening or praying for other person, it's also a way of tzedakah, it's also a way of helping other person. Uh, tzedakah, it's not just a money that you give for some beggar who asks you for help, for some uh, change that you can give him. Uh, prayer for some person that is in need, it's also tzedakah, because you invest your mind, you invest your soul, you think about needs of other people, you are doing a good mitzvah, you are doing a good deed, if you are really, really, really passionate about praying for other people. And for me, praying for other people, praying for other person that is in need, it's also a beautiful, beautiful and powerful way of tzedakah. We should do a tzedakah. Tzedakah, it's good mitzvah, it's good deed. And when we are capable to donate the money, give some change, uh, people on the street it, who is in the need, that is a good, good mitzvah, it's good deed, you are doing good things because sharing with others what you have, it will make you a greater person, it will help you, it will open your soul, open your heart and Hashem uh, will, will be uh, happy about your goodness, Baruch Hashem, uh, you are a good person and you will have every beauty in your life that you deserve and also the person that you help will also be happy. But when someone is not able in some times, a lot of people it's not able to give a lot of charity, a lot of money, because a lot of, of people, it's living not so good, because times are changing, and uh, I think that person who is not able to give uh, a lot of donations, a lot of tzedakah, should not be depressed, should not be uh, sad, that they are not able to help, uh, should not be um, thinking that they are not going, doing good things, uh, because if you are, for example, going to buy diapers uh, for your baby, uh, you go to buy baby formula for your baby, you are supporting your wife, uh, you are working hard, and in that moment, you see someone on the street asking for some change and in your pockets you have uh, just enough money to buy diapers and baby formula that your wife is asking you to do and believe me the better mitzvah it's to pray for that person it's not it's not bad, it's not a shameful thing to say to that person, sorry, I'm not able to give you uh, now uh, money, but trust me, I will pray for you. I will pray for you that someone else will give you something f to eat. And I will pray also for me that I am next time able to give you some money, to give you some change. Now what I have in my pockets, it's for my child, it's for my wife, it's for my family. And Hashem, uh, our Lord, blessed be His name, it's happy when you take care of yourself and your family. And that is not a sinful act if you open your soul to, to, to the person and just say to him, sorry, in this moment I'm not able to give you a donation, I'm not able to give you a tzedakah because I need this money too, my child is needing this but 
from bottom of my heart, from bottom of my soul, I will pray for you. I will pray for you that Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, sends you some other person who is able to give you money, who is able to give you some change to support you and to buy you some food. And I will also pray for myself next time when I saw you on the street to be able to give you some change uh, next time. I will pray also for my Parnasa uh, to be able to help you next time. And believe me, believe me, when you open your soul, when you seriously uh, do what you promised to do to that person, and you pray for him, pray for him that he has food, that he has money enough to live decently, that he has home, that he's not on the streets, nothing bad happens to him. And you pray for yourself that you have enough to support your family, to support, support your community and to give charity, tzedakah to others. Believe me, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our Father will listen to you, Baruch Hashem. He will listen to you and He will see how sad you are that you didn't, didn't help this person financially. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our Father, will be happy that you keep your promise and you pray for him, for person uh, who is in need. And you give a tzedakah in davening. You give a, a good support in davening, in praying for him. And as I told, and as I said in the beginning, prayers for other person, prayer for other person, it's also a tzedakah. Don't be ashamed, ashamed if you don't have money. Just open your heart, open your soul, and pray for other people, pray for yourself. And financial things will come. Parnasa will come. This is what I want to teach you. What I want to, to tell you. Because everything what happens, it's good. It's good. For purpose of good, uh, will happen sometimes in your life that you are not able to give a money. But you will be able to pray, to give spiritual support, spiritual help. That's why I'm saying that Praying for other person in need, it's also tzedakah, and it's also a good, good, good deed. Baruch Hashem. May our God, Lord, bless you, everyone, and blessed be his beautiful, uh, loving name of our Lord, King of this universe, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I bless you all. Bye-bye. Shalom. From the Miriam.